So in the last video, I animated using steps of three. In this video, um, well this time around, I'm going to use a, a different technique and that requires me to go to File, Use Preferences, Editing, and I want to click this little box right here that says Only Insert Needed. But uh, I'm going to show you what that does if I don't have it clicked. So I'm going to select my weapon bone over here, jump forward 10 frames, I'm going to move it forward a little bit you'll see that it creates keyframes for the rotation, location, and scale. It creates keyframes for everything, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to go back, click Only Insert Needed, and move it forward again. And look at that, it only creates keyframes on the location. And if I do it for the rotation, only for the rotation, and that's what I want. So close that out and let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this hand because I um, actually just go to the first, um, wait a minute. so that it's out of the way and then when I need it to be back at the origin I'll just move it to the right and it'll be there but I'm gonna leave it there for now so this is gonna curve down up and sit right about here. So I'm gonna, gonna position it and where the mag out would be, where the mag out would start, maybe about right here in this position. Alright. Then I kind of want it to curve down and then up. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, move it up right here. The Z. And then I'm going to move all these rotation keyframes a little bit past Actually, I'm just going to position it there and then move the x axis rotation a little bit and then just change it from here. And then delete those ones. And then move it down right here on the Z. Okay, maybe that right there. Yeah, that's good. Shift up the uh, hmm. just offset the keys a little bit, give some variety, and I want the gun to start rotating down, like th uh, start rotating down after it gets here. So to exaggerate that little motion, I'm gonna have to keep moving it on the x-axis and uh, I'm going to offset these keys a little bit laggy for me so I have to turn on frame dropping alright we're getting there and I obviously
obviously don't want it just pivoting right here like that and not moving. So uh, I'm just going to have it move down slightly in the X. Sorry, Z. And then this frame is where the mag is going to come out. It's going to snap. So, something like that. Yeah, alright. Uh, let's see. Actually, maybe I should have it a little bit later. Um, actually, yeah, I'm just going to spread out these a little bit. And that's where the snap is going to be. So, uh, in order to get a proper snap the way I want it, I'm just going to select my weapon bone and hit I and hit available. That way it creates a keyframe for everything. And then the snap. <laughs> so, let's see. can either rotate it down like that, so that it snaps like that, or have it rotate up and go down. I don't know. It's up to you however you want to do it. Uh, that's not how I want to do it. Start from here. <laughs> Do that, because that's a lot easier. Yeah, alright. Uh, too much on the Y. Way too much on the Y, I'm going the wrong way. And then make another extra snap on the second frame, maybe. And then a few frames. Uh, bring it down a bit. Rotation comes after, remember that. I'm gonna have it sit there a few frames. Well, not, like, static, of course, but I'm gonna have it uh, just subtly drop down on the X, sorry, Z, keep messing that up, uh, uh, yeah, keep those, at this point is where it starts coming up, so I'm going to gonna skip forward ahead to like frame 52 and then I'm gonna position it where the uh, to the mag in position that's really bad you always want to make your positions like appealing and not something like that because <laughs> that just doesn't look right so just try to make your positions look appealing. It's probably the same position as my gun, yeah. Alright. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna have it maybe like that. Because I don't want it to. Have, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Because I don't want it to have the same position as it was before, so. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And once again, I want to have it curve down. Maybe I'll have it curve down, actually. And rotate it up. Spread it out. 
taskbar with the X because the X usually is the best thing that should come last. Well, yeah, it should just come last, I think. Spread out because why not? gonna have this rotate down at a pretty drastic uh, rotation yeah. might have it have that curve back up a little too much. A little too much for my taste. But that's... Yeah, that's looking alright. Might change the mega position to differentiate from the mag in because it's almost in the same location, but what are you going to do? Alright, so the mag in position... What am I going to do? Um, well, have it subtly move. Maybe downwards. And have it turn a bit, maybe two frames after. So that it's, uh, let's see. I think, alright, so I gotta remember the timing. So, the mag comes out, and I guess this is where it start. the mag would probably come out from here, and then rise up, and then probably touch the mag well at this point. So it's, you know, it's probably right, right, it's probably right here. And we can have the gun fumble around. Because you're trying to put it in, and no human's perfect. So they're gonna probably try to fumble around with trying to get that mag in. So, uh, I'm just gonna put some random positions and try to make them look natural. That's not what I meant. That's not what I want, actually. Okay, yeah, well. This is where it starts to go in. So it's gonna snap right here, the next uh, right at 67. So I'm just gonna clean this up, delete the keyframes I probably don't need, like. Probably eventually uh, change a lot of things with the curve editor later, but I'm just going to get the basic uh, rundown here. Alright, so. Well, 
let's see. Really, uh, at this point, at this part, well, you're trying to pull the mag out, and if you're doing that, you'd probably pulling be pulling up instead. So with the mag out, you'd probably be... Well, you're pulling away from the mag, because you want to separate the two objects, right? So, <laughs> yeah, I should have probably animated that as if it was being pulled out the other way in that direction, but it's however you want it. However you want to do it. I'm going to do it right this way, though. I'm going to have it come down instead of up, because if it's going up, uh, well, makes the, the left hand would be more powerful. And, uh, well, you don't really want that. You kind of want the gun. You want to make sure that it's in. So, you'd want it to come down. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, I'll stop talking and just do this. want to give it little rotation variations instead of just straight Y or X or anything, something like that. So I'll probably just move that Y. Take this a little bit down, so it's not at such an extreme position, rotation, I mean. Mag's gonna, yeah, Mag's gonna, 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 it's gonna, it's gonna return to the origin at this point, so, that's a bit too snappy. And like the Mag out, just, you know, a few frames down. Rotation. Oh. And am I going to do a bolt pull? Charging pull? Or a slide uh, bolt release? Uh, no. Because I already did that in the draw. And if you want to do that, uh, you, you can if you want. That's totally up to you. But I'm not. Because, you know, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to make it short and to the point. So, let's come up here. And then maybe right here is where it starts to rise so that the person who's reloading the, reloading the gun can re-grip it. That looks hideous. So, just offsetting these. Actually, that's a bad idea. There. That'll work. Since I'm too lazy to remember where the origin is, I'm just going to have the uh, the animation and probably right here at 93. So I'm just going to copy the first keyframe of the weapon. 
all of it, not just the W, whatever. And okay, that's where it is. So that means I need to. What, what does that mean? What does that mean? I'm gonna have it rise up here and then drop down this way. But I want it to kind of bounce up, so. I might have to make it shorter. Yeah, it's gonna have to be shorter. Alright. And. Um, maybe at. This frame right here is where it should go a little bit to the left because I want it to start going back to the origin in the center. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind of what I want. I want it to maybe at this point go on the Y so that the gun is away from the player, and then returning back like that, and maybe near the end, make it a little bit closer, but not all the way. Back to origin would be really rough, so I'm just gonna smoothen out these parts by deleting, adding. It's a little laggy for me, so I'm going to keep having to stop and pause the recording. Actually, that might be why my ending frame is at 82. So I'm just going to change this timeline and set the ending frame to whatever, 100. And then close that out. Alright, that's better. I should probably scale it back then. That's the basic part of the weapon movement, so I'm just going to do the <coughs> mag really quick. So let's yeah, right, just make a keyframe right there. I should probably make sure that it's going to create a keyframe on everything. Uh, this part, I'm going to show you the uh, the link constraints, like over here, the child level constraint. So, 
Now I set the influence to zero, it's going to move a bit. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what's going on? It's just like that. That's, yeah, that's what you have to deal with. But that doesn't mean that it's completely broken. Because it's, yeah, right now it's not following the gun. But the frame before that, it is. And, yeah, that's okay. All you really need to do is just, uh, I'm just gonna do this, like, uh, select the mag cursor to selected. And then, selection of cursor. And see if I can line up the rotation. But it's going to be uh, ejecting, right? Maybe at this point. Like that. Whoops. frame got deleted or whatever. So yeah, it's going to be coming out right here, so you don't have to be super accurate. closer to you, that's what I meant, yeah. And I don't want clipping, so... Mm, just copy the keyframe right here, and then... So that's in the exact same position. Well, not really, but... You get the point. So it lines up. So you don't have to fumble around with everything like that. A little bit of clipping, but whatever. Pretty simple mega, it's nothing special, but it works. Should probably move that down. Yeah. Or actually faster. So the timing is the same. is where the mag rises. So I'm just going to copy the last keyframe from the mag. And on the next frame, I'm going to position it maybe like that. Actually, no. Maybe like I said I'm going to do it like this. And I'm going to be really lazy. And right here, I'm going to make a keyframe. And then the next one, put the influence up back to one. And uh, copy the first keyframe so that it's back right there. Whoops, whoops, no, uh, go 
this frame cursor selected selection of cursor so that's right here and I'm pretty much going to do the same thing like I did with the mega out just going to line it up and I'll probably have it a three frame snap so just line it up like that Right there, that's good. And that's weird. Well, whatever. Just move it like that. This might be actually might be a little too long of a gap, so I'm going to just move that far. Yeah, that's too long of a pause at that point, so I'm just going to go back to my weapon and look at all this huge mess and try to sort it out. back over here. Uh, close that up so I don't see any for everything. And start rising. I should start a little bit more down so I get that velocity. point it's going to hit the mag wall, so I'm going to have it pivot on the top like that, and then just rotate it so that it's not going like this, and then like that, yeah, that's not what I wanted. Well, actually, that's a bit what I wanted. Like, something like that, where it rotates inside the, uh, mag wall. And I'm just going to tweak it. comes up a little bit slow. Um, yeah, it's a bit too slow. So, uh, I'm going to change it posi its position too, because that's pretty meh. change up the timing again of the gun because that's still a humongous gap for a Megan.
just going to leave it like that for now. And then I'll tweak the rest if I need to. It's not on the hand. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to just move those two keyframes I put in the negative one and put them back here. Maybe at frame 15 is where the hand grabs it. So I'm going to be really, really lazy. And have it look like it's already grabbed. Well, yeah. Whatever. I'm lazy, so. <laughs> I can just have it like it's already gripped, so the finger position is already f okay. Except that, that's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, whatever that works. All right. Um, I'll probably change that up because there's probably going to be a huge gap right here. So. Don't mind the clipping. You're not gonna see it. This may be about five frames before the hand is gonna open up. So I'm just gonna select these fingers. position them, uh, well, yeah, can rotate them so they look a bit more, uh, just appealing, I should say, I don't know, then a frame of four, and I'm gonna move the hand somewhere right here, so that it closes. Oh yeah, I forgot to copy the keyframes actually. Yeah, alright. Clipping. so that they come after the hand movement. So that's usually... That usually gives you a better result in your animations if your fingers go after the hand movements. Alright, so... I'm gonna get rid of this lazy mess right here. the hand so that it so that the thumb probably just doesn't clip through like that so move a little bit to the left and rotate to the right same with this subtle so that the hand just doesn't immediately start moving really fast. Alright, that's okay. Except that. That's not good.
to spread the fingers out so it's a bit more mm, exaggerated. Uh, actually, I don't have. Yeah. I need to put it on individual origins so that the fingers will bend at each origin like that. Actually, that's a little too extended, so I'm going to make a keyframe right there and have them start closing up immediately after. I'm going to delete those. Uh, that thumb. There we go. Pleasing hand positions too, hand finger positions. They look good. All right, so that happens. All right. So let's look at this really quick. All right. Well, it's not half bad. All right. So we don't really have to do anything about this except maybe. Uh, move that, yeah, move that shoulder back, so. And move the pull target down, I, wait, no, yeah, move it down like that. about that because you're not going to see it. <laughs> Alright, so let's get forward ahead here. All the way over here because I'm not going to move the hand at all because it looks fine already. And I usually start making my hand go back to the origin uh, maybe three or four frames after the mag gets put back in the mag wheel. So have it start right here. Right here. Right there. Alright. Whatever. So just slipped everything. And no, those are fine. Alright. I available. Okay. I'm actually, uh, I'll probably have the hand subtly come off the mag, so I'm just going to move it a few frames ahead, and then rotate it like that. first keyframe, move it all the way over here, and then it's back at that position, and I'm going to be lazy and not animate the fingers yet, I mean, I'll animate the fingers, but not yet. Targets back in their original position, so I'm going to copy those keyframes.
guess at this point, I'm going to time lapse it and then edit everything out with the curve editor because I uh, played it and a lot of things are out of time. And well, putting the uh, putting the fingers back at the origin, it's pretty much the same thing as doing it like the charging handle in the last video. So. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Well, there you have it. A really, really crappy reload. But, uh, that works for the example, I guess. Uh, it's not too flashy. Kinda. Uh, I changed the bit, um, back to the origin. And, yeah, it, it looks pretty sloppy, and it's really laggy, so I'm gonna have to change this. And yeah, that probably won't look good. Uh, whatever. There's a lot of different ways I could've done this. Like, I don't know. Could've had it, well, I could've had it be a lot faster. Or I could have had it be a lot more calming. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I kind of like to just try different styles every once in a while. But what kind of style do you want? That's, that is completely up to you. Another good idea is just to look at some videos. And if you see a style that you like, just go ahead and study it and learn all you can from it. Just keep practicing. And just remember to accept all advice from people because they'll help you out in trying to make your things look better. Uh, sorry if I didn't explain a whole lot. If I did, that's amazing. If I didn't, that's really no surprise. Uh, wow. What's next? I don't know. Who knows? Until next time. See you later.